So what is the molar mass of iron 2 sulfate? Well, I have a very simple process to follow and we're gonna use this table to help us out. Bam, so the first thing we're gonna do is write down the elements in the compound. So we have iron, we have sulfur, and we have oxygen. Next is then to write down the number of atoms of each. So at the bottom of iron, there is a one. That means there's one iron. In other words, we gotta look at the subscripts here to find the number of atoms. At the bottom of sulfur here, there is also a one. So therefore there's one sulfur and at the bottom of oxygen, there's four oxygen. We're going to take those number of atoms then and, divide, and multiply it by the mass of each element. And these masses are found on the periodic table, so let's take a look. Here's iron, 55.85, oxygen is 16, and sulfur is about 32.07. So let's write them in. So 55.85 for iron, sulfur is going to be about 32, 32.07, and oxygen is 16. Then all we simply have to do is multiply the row on across to find the total mass of each element in the compound. So the total mass of iron here is going to be 55.85. The total mass of sulfur is going to be 32.07. And then the total mass of oxygen is going to be 64. Last but not least, just add this column together to find the total mass of the entire compound. So when we add that together, we get 151.92. Since we're solving for molar mass, the units here are in terms of grams per mole. And now you know how to find the molar mass of iron 2 sulfate. Take care, and I look forward to helping you with more problems. See you soon.